Hey, Street Text Insider Group. So I figured I would take a moment now that it's been a few months. So for those of you that are new to Street Text, let me just tell you what I've noticed and my thoughts and things that have worked for me. So the lead started flowing right away. Um, that was never an issue. And I've been you know, sticking to the seller side. Um, so I finally found a combination where I'm getting more email opens, more video views, more appointments, and now more listings, which is great. So the first thing I noticed is BombBomb Bomb really is a great tool to have alongside with Street Text. And let's face it, Street Text is really very affordable. I mean, compared to all the crap leads that real estate agents get when they pay for a service, that's not the case here. So I would say that's a bonus. Number two, between using bomb bomb and using your gmail templates i would avoid using the templates i know someone suggested it but what i found is it's getting marked as spam so a lot of times when i finally had customers you know reach out and say i didn't get your email it was the ones that i sent directly through gmail with my save template so i have been doing i basically save everything on my computer my template and then I just change the address and I change the different valuations that I find from Zillow, Trulia, Redfin, and then my own personal range of comps that I've run. And then I take that and put it into my bomb bomb. It takes just a few minutes, but then that way I can see it tracked and I'm seeing that it's not being suppressed, meaning that it's not going to their spam folder. And I would say at this point, I'm now at a point where I'm seeing about a 60 to 70 percent email open rate and out of that 60 to 70 percent i would say at least 50 percent are responding either to myself or to julie um, julie has been wonderful so again don't use your gmail templates i would save it on your computer and then edit the most successful hack i've learned actually from someone else on street text that was kind of giving their reviews and how they do it when someone requests a valuation i basically use the template that says you know thanks so much for reaching out um, about your valuation of 123 abc street um, here's the internet's best guess of what your home is worth and i say zillow thinks it's this much Movado thinks it's closer to this much. Redfin thinks that it's closer to this price. And then my next sentence says, as you can see, the internet has no clue what your house is worth. Based on my initial findings, here's what I think a good range is. When's a good time for me to come over and take a 10 minute, no obligation tour of your house and I'll give you an exact number that I think your house should be listed at. So out of that, I've had, I guess in the last three and a half, four months, I've been on about six appointments. And out of those six appointments, I have three confirmed for listing. One of them, it's they're in the process of getting their house prepared. I just went on another appointment today and they're going to be listing with me. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out, but these are the tips and hacks that have seemed to be really promoting all of a sudden those appointments and those responses. So anyway, I love street text, so if you have questions, let me know. Bye guys.